All right, everyone. So we are back and we have the social topic for this week that we're going to do. And again, Tub does not know what the social topic is. It, now, last week, you I would, I would say you would think that after last week, I'd be like, you know what? Just start telling me. Start telling right. me beforehand what this right. topic is. But what I did was I decided that I would be a little bit generous this week. It is Thanksgiving, and I want to be thankful that he has chosen to continue co-hosting <laughs> with me. So I took it a little bit easier. So I found something that's a lot lighter. And okay. I was I, I was toying around with how I might describe it, and I just couldn't figure out a way to describe it. But think of it as a lighthearted object lesson. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this item up on like the screen. Like a cartoon when I was growing up? Uh, kind of, but it's not a cartoon. Oh. So I, I saw this meme, and oh, I no. thought it was very interesting. I made a comment on it on Facebook, and now I'm posting it up. Yeah. I'm going to post it up, and you we're going do, to talk about it. You do know this is the area that I fail miserably as a libertarian because okay. I don't make memes. And I, and I, and I let me just talk, okay, hang on. It's all free stuff here for a second. It, is that so? They have this game. It's called it's the What Do You Meme game. Okay. And we play this with some people that we know. I'm horrible at it because I don't. I always take the pictures literal, right? And I try to make these things go along. So I'm horrible at this, and so. I'm, I might not be a libertarian because I don't know how to do memes and I don't always understand them. Right. <laughs> and so, um, and now you're going to hit me with a meme. Right, but you're going to prove one, my ignorance. This, one has, this one's easy though. This okay. one, you don't have to try to figure anything out. Sweet. We just right. have to figure out what we want to say about it. That's all. Okay. So here, let's put it up on the screen. Okay. So what we got here, and I'm, I know that there are some people that will open up a tab and then go on about the way and just listen. So I'm going to describe this also for anybody that's listening on the okay. regular podcast without the video. So what, what we have on screen here is a piece uh, we have a pie and this pie it's it looks like a pumpkin pie and it's been divided into eight sections right and it's already all it is is re it's, it's divided grab and ready and for go. somebody to come mm -hmm. and grab a piece and go and then what you have is you have this this triangle that's been cut across three <laughs> of the pieces in the center of the pie basically <laughs> right and here's what the text says it says this should be easy to understand how freedoms work this person took his part, but it affected others negatively. I don't know how they knew it was a he, but whatever. Yeah. He exercised That's his a guy. freedom. That's a guy did that. Let's be honest. Okay, fair a enough. Guy did that. So, he, so it continues on. It says, he exercised his freedom, but with an injustice to others. Freedoms can't be exercised as every individual wants without looking at injustice to others. Justice disappears when you harm others. An example of bad exercise of individual freedom. So effectively what they're getting at here is they're saying like, look, you have the freedom. They're making this uh, comparison. They say you have this freedom to come and eat this pie and the pieces were already laid out and all you had to do is eat the friggin' pieces as they were set up for you. But no, somebody chose to use their freedom and cut across and make their own choice their own triangle piece in the center of the pie, which affected now other people that might come back. So here's what I said initially, and then let, let's get your thoughts on this. Okay. So what I said was it makes sense when people have a fixed view of how freedoms work. The reality is that creativity and freedoms open opportunities for one to enjoy a standard sliced piece, another oddly sliced piece, a different pie, or some other option yet unthought of. This image displays a gross misunderstanding how freedoms work. All right, uh, all right. So hit, tell me, give me that picture again, real quick. Right, let's, get, let's get let's go back to this picture real quick here. Here's, I, and I'm kind of agreeing with you on this one. All right, so here's a problem. You've been trained to think that oh, this is how it's cut. I have to just follow the way right. it goes. That's dangerous for people. Right. If we just keep following the same old thing, right. you that can get you into trouble. Right. <laughs> okay. So now this guy, we're going with guy. Right. If you think about it. He took the best part. You don't have any of that nasty crust that's going along with right. stuff along those. He took the best part. Now it leaves options because you know what? There's probably other people who didn't want a full piece. Right. And so now they get a smaller piece. Like my right. wife would love that because if nothing else, she gets a little tiny piece without right. driving everything crazy because right. ordinarily she wouldn't get a tiny piece. Right. You know, you have to kind of take what's there. So I kind of look at this and I go, okay. This isn't just a meme. This is the, we have a long discussion about right. what freedoms do and how they infringe on others. Here's my question. Did it stop other people from getting pie? No. Right. You just didn't get it the way you wanted it. Right. It didn't prevent you. Look, how many other people can still get right. the full piece that they would always want? Right, right. The four other people can get an untouched piece Almost of pie. Almost five. Almost five. Almost that that five fifth right one there. is a little bit off. That's what I'm saying. Um, that person is going to have to take a, a bit of a hit. Yeah, you know, take one for the team a little bit, but right. inside of this is that it's funny to look at this, right. but there is a bigger picture inside. Yes. It's like, is that guy right that he was allowed to cut that piece out right. in the middle of it? 
Yeah, because right. because you know, how about this then? Because there probably wasn't a sign attached right. to that pie that says only take the pieces as they were. Yep. So once you don't have that, you're allowed to go, hey, I want this piece like this. Yeah, and, and I think, uh, you know, the comment that I made was kind of like, it, my first thought was, whoever said this wasn't very imaginative. And I think that's the problem when it comes to freedoms is people... When people want to restrict freedoms, it's because they're not imagining how imaginative – they're not thinking about him, how imaginative somebody else can be they, and use their freedom in the context of what like, has oh, happened I around them. That. That's the right. best piece. But what you're saying is it kept them into this area. Okay? Right. See, and I think that we've become so accustomed – Our the biggest thing that I do as a libertarian, I will always want to make people – I'll keep going like the two-year-old. Why? Right. Why? 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 Right. Because make them start – and then and you bring them back part of they right. start going – Wait a minute, why? And, and we've done that. This is an example of, okay, right. well, it's cut like this. This is the only way we take pie. Is it? Right. Now, I, I'm going to tell you this. Okay, this is, so with Thanksgiving coming up, there's going to be pies around. And, and I and I found out that I have a nephew who watches our podcast every time. Oh, boy. He always watches them. And, and so he kind of, he'll send me different things. He goes, no, Thank I you, by the way. Yes. Thank you for watching. I, I, I won't mention his name. You're because, a great American. Because he wants to keep his friends. So, um, but I can tell you this here. I, I hope. He doesn't see this before Thanksgiving. It's going to be out before Thanksgiving, isn't it? No, it'll be out next week. No, yes, no, this, this one. Will, out, this yeah, this one. Like, yeah, this. Yeah, this. this tomorrow. Or this, something. Yeah, I'll, I'll put this okay. out tomorrow night. Because here's why I say this. You know what he's going to do? I would not be surprised now if we show up on Thanksgiving and he's done that. Right. He'll be that one who cuts that piece out of that. Right. Just like that, just to stir things up a little. Right. Bit. Well, we do want to mention that if that pie, let, let's say it's your wife that makes that pie. No, trust me. No. Or that's not how that's. Or, if or, my wife purchases that pie. Okay. It is it is your pie, so it is private property. Right. So you cannot, nephew, necessarily go and just start cutting awkward pieces out of a pie that you don't own. He doesn't have his freedom to do that. Well, I mean, if if somebody puts hey, we this never out, asked whose pie is this. Right. We never asked right. that question. Right. What if the pie was given to him and he right. said, "This is mine now. Right. I'm going to do this." Right. We never asked the question. Right. Whose is it? Right. And and you know what? There are consequences to your actions. So let's just say for a moment mm -hmm. that somebody gives me a pie and they pre-cut it, right? So now I've got the I got the yep, eight the slices normal, prepared. Yeah. And then I invite some friends over, but before they get there I decide, you know, I'd really love this awkwardly shaped this awkward but it's triangle. All the this is the best part. So then what happens is I take it out and yeah, it seems like I've ruined it for everybody and maybe I have, but guess what? I might have to pay a consequence for that. So yeah, it was my pie to do what I want with. Yep. I chose how I wanted to use it. And people I might chose call the, you out for it. And then idiot. my friends might come over and go, dude, seriously, that's what you <laughs> serve us when you, you invite friends over and you serve a pie that looks like that? We don't want to come over anymore. Bye. Right? This is they how have that freedom, freedom also. works. Yep. And this is what this is what's missing from this picture here. Here's what they can do. Oh my goodness, he's beating me. <laughs> here's what they can do. Next time they come to your house, they can bring their own pie. Right. Because I I'm not you look what the L does to the pie. Right. So next time bring your own. Right. Everybody wins at that point. Because yep. then you can walk yep. and go, hey, this is my pie. I don't trust yep. you with a deal because this is what you do to yep. pies. And and if I know that my friends will object to this, the likelihood is that I probably won't cut the pie For like that. Like right. you wouldn't poke the bear on Because, I mean, probably not because, I mean, it depends. Because ultimately what I'm going to do is I'm going to engage in my freedoms in a way that makes me happy. But part of what makes me happy is the response that I know that I'm going to get from other people. So if I'm going to get a poor response from doing this, and that's not the response that I want, then I might not do that. And I might use my freedom in a different manner. Yeah, yeah. And this is how freedom works. That's why That's why I thought this was such a great idea. I think you idea. took this way more serious than I did. I did. Because I almost see this as a challenge now. I mean, I just, I like, look I at it. I would almost like to see the reaction if you showed up. And this, like, if you, if you say, okay, on Thursday, you start cutting into a pie. I mean, and you dig, like, I, I would almost want to see how that plays out. I could like, do the that. Libertarian in me says, I feel stir like, it up a little bit. I feel like, I feel like the person that would be the most angry would be my wife. Uh -huh. And, um, it's, it's, you know, she's not a libertarian, so the, she's not no, bound to the non-aggression principle. So she, so might, she might slap go me against the, the non-aggression principle. Right? Okay. This is why. I have this to is be why careful. we don't do that stuff. This is why we cut eight pieces out the way that right. they should be. But uh, so, no, I, yeah, well, hold on. so go. real quick, then, do we have to be cautious in our freedoms? Yes. So just because you have the right to do something doesn't mean make it a good idea. Right. Right. Yeah. Like I have the right. Like legally, I have the right to go and sleep with someone else, right? You have the right to. Um, I'm, gonna pay a, well. I'm gonna pay a consequence for yes. it if it happens, right? Okay. 
Um, so just because I have the right to do it doesn't mean a good idea. Now, if I'm a single man, I may the, the consequence may be much much of a lower, right? Yeah, depending on what, what depending on who the other person is. Right, except, right. Yeah. Depending on other variables, but you know, so there there are consequences to your action. Uh, I have the right for you know when you come over. Um, once a week to record, I have the right to insult you and say all kind of mean things to your face, or maybe you know, be like, "Oh, here's the religious guy again," <laughs> and, it's and make some joke, right? I have the right to do that, and then you have the right to say, "You know, Dale, I don't think this relationship is working." I think, out yeah, well. I, think, I think we had, we had a good run. It's over, right? It's um, it, right. actually, which I, if I was going to do that, right. it would have been after last week's maps thing, right? But you know, it's funny that you call me the religious guy. And I was getting ready to actually tell you about what the Apostle Paul says, right? Because Paul says all things are lawful, but not all things are wise, right? And, right. and like that's legit. Like, right. you know, like just because I can, right, doesn't mean I need to, right? And I think that what's missing out of you know ideas like this is that there are what you might call a market response. And, and we'll use that as a blanket term. So if my friends come over, the market response might be that they don't want to come over anymore. Or they might really frown upon it and give me a hard time oh, yeah. and uh -huh. be very angry and not want to talk to me. Right. And then only talk to my wife. Right. Or whatever. You know, so so there, there might be some sort of market response for having pulled a stunt like this. And I, and I think that what this 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 meme kind of suggests is that there are no consequences. This person, they got to eat their pie their way and everybody else suffers. And then that person has no consequence. And I'm like, no, that's not how this works. No, somebody, because like you said, somebody might not come around again. Right. Somebody might not give them pie again. Right. They might come over and say, dude, you cannot have pie. Right. Or I'm going to cut the pie for you. Right. There are these other things that happen. But once again, he has the right to his actions. Right. You suffer the consequences right. accordingly. However, And if you, if you weigh out the risk and you go, I'm going to take this. And then right. you might get mad at me, but it's worth right. it. Like I said, I think that we have to go back to, I think we have to go back to the initial argument, which maybe we didn't realize at first is who owns the pie. Right. If it's his pie. I don't care if you gave it to him or whatever right. it is. Once it's his. Right. Now, if I come to your I house want. and I cut that pie. You could ask me to leave. Like, you got to go. Yeah, because this is like, mine. Seriously, this you, is what you this, did to it. I, like, you knew exactly what I meant when I said go cut a piece of pie. Right? Like, you're like, like <laughs> intuitively, we would know. Or we would think. Right? Because like, well, people would be expecting Barbara, the standard. He, DL's an idiot. And this right. is what he thinks is right. But I think this this goes larger in that if it's mine, I have the right to do with it as I please, which goes into my property, my lawn. You right. Know, no, I'm not telling you, you need to cut your keep your lawn mode. Okay? Right. But inside of that, it falls into that principle. Right. Okay, folks. Well, that's it. That's what we've got. Not maps. Uh, we just had, you know, not maps. Not so maps. It was something a lot light, more lighthearted. And so when you see, the, if you see this meme, if somebody pulls it up while you're eating Thanksgiving dinner, you can be like, oh, oh, I know these two guys, these two bozos, these clowns, these guys, these guys really made a heck of an argument. And maybe you can improve upon the argument. Hopefully so. But for all for, And maybe for your now, nephews won't do that. Yeah, nephew don't numbers. do that. That's, that's no, he, bad. He, now, it's very bad. He probably will now. Jesus would not like it if you did that. I don't think he's worried about that. Okay, probably not. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. We will see you next time. Have a good one.